Geospatial technology allows us to turn data into knowledge. When you have 60,000 drivers, if I can just reduce one mile per driver per day, that's more than 20 million miles a year. That's tires that aren't being wasted. That's two million gallons of fuel. That's 20,000 metric tons of carbon not going into the air. If I can just save one mile. We spend about a billion dollars a year on technology to make that happen. In an average day, I will do 115 to 125 stops. I'll travel probably anywhere from 120 to 140 miles, depending on the, the route of that day. Some packages have to be delivered by 8.30, some by 10.30, some by noon, pickups in the afternoon, and then some special things for customers. So our mathematicians or our operations researchers, by using the data from the geospatial technologies, use analytics and create algorithms to take this huge amount of alternatives and turn that into the route that's the best for today. Have a good day, people. So when a package comes in the building, we print out a label that tells us what package car it goes into, where in the car it goes, what order the driver is going to deliver it. And then we move the electronic data into the driver's handheld computer so they have that at the same time. Scroll in. It looks like the flow is pretty good again. We may want to change the time on that pickup. Make that a um, 1.30. This little device gives me a pre-planned, ideal way to deliver things and what my day's gonna be. I look at the delivery order listing so I can envision how I'm gonna do things, whether I wanna make changes or whether I agree with it. Place, wrong place. It, it's quite the tool to have. It has a GPS chip inside of it, a communication device. So every time a driver makes a delivery, we transmit up and say, here's where the driver was at that moment. In the center, where the operations are occurring, they have a map and they can see every driver in their delivery territory and where they are in near real time. So if a customer calls and says, I need an on-demand pickup, we can look and say, what driver is the better driver to give it to? So she takes it, she drags it over to the route she wants to dispatch it to, automatically goes into that driver's handheld computer and the driver says, yep, I can do it, or there's something I know you don't, sorry I can't, sends it back. Telematics yesterday, phenomenal results. We had a, a one seat belt event yesterday. For Telematics it helps me communicate with my workforce. Of 14 backs per driver. I have uh, real physical data that I can give back to them that we can use for uh, improvement in the operation. We put sensors on a vehicle to tell us if the vehicle's backing, if the driver's seat belt's off, if they shut the door behind them. The biggest thing is the safety perspective. How about this one? I can look at the speed that they're traveling throughout the day. I can look at it whether they stop at a stop sign. Now let me ask you about this one, since, since I got you. I can see how far they backed their vehicle up. What was there a reason why you backed out? That is a 55 mile zone, and I'd just rather just stay out of the way. So you backed in the lane to avoid the curve? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the driver says, nope, I consciously did that. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And that conversation can make our people and customers more safe. Okay. When you see little red circles, that's where something's wrong with the map. It takes a human um, along with the software, and sometimes we have to call the best experts, and that's our drivers. We use this tablet to plot roads that either don't go through or we wouldn't send a package car down it. There, there's better ways to deliver from point A to point B. We're looking for also new developments. Many times with GPS data, new developments come in and the map data just hasn't caught up with it. Point school road. Okay. So if he brings up some readings of where drivers have driven, there's a road missing. He'll draw in the road. Um, everything will snap. The red dots will go away and we've updated that portion of the map. The world changed around us, so we took all that information that's in people's heads and we put it in computer systems. And we put it all on a map. We've moved from being a trucking company that has technology to a technology company that just happens to have trucks.